How's it going? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to balloon anything, any model you want in Blender 2.82. So let's get into it. So in this video, I'm, I'm going to show you how to balloon anything you want. Now, this is very important. This is done in Blender 2.82. And at the time of recording this video, it's currently in beta. I'll link it in the description, but all you have to do is Google Blender daily builds and download that. Uh, don't worry, it's very stable. You don't have to worry about anything, but it allows you to utilize this very simple ballooning feature. And this image you're seeing right there, all the settings are available in the project file, which everybody on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. You can grab that in the description if you're not on Patreon. On the note of Patreon, if you don't know about it, you get free monthly shaders, exclusive tutorials, tons of project files that aren't available here on the YouTube channel, tons of stuff like that. That's linked in the description if you want to go check that out. So let's get into how to balloon stuff. All right, so I'm going to go down here and open up Blender 2.82. So it's going to open up here. And here we go. So what I'm going to do, just to show you how easy this is, I'm just going to go ahead and get a cube, go into edit mode here, and say I'm going to inset one of these faces and extrude it out like that. So now we have just a random shape. So all you have to do is go here to the physics tab, go to cloth, right down here you're going to see pressure. So if you look at the description, it simulates pressure inside a closed cloth mesh. So that could be anything with a balloon or those weird flaring guys you see in front of car dealerships, things like that. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to give it a pressure of 3. So these are t settings that I've played around and I found these to be best. Custom volume, very important. We're going to give it a target volume of 9 and a factor volume, we're going to go with 3. And then just to um, simulate this correctly, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a plane under it and quickly make it a collision. So, so before we do this, I did forget to subdivide my cube. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that you do this. Very important. I'll subdivide it by 10. Okay. So when I press play, bam, he's a balloon. It's very, very easy. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and say, just add a uh, subdivision surface to this guy and balloon him again. And look at that. He's a balloon, literally any object. So what I like to do, because I am in the graphic design field, is use text. So just for those of you who are curious about it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go and get, say, a capital A, scale them up a little bit, and then go ahead. Now in the uh, geometry portion, I'm going to go and I'm going to extrude it by four. Just like that, I'm going to hit F3 to go to the uh, searching, and I'm going to type in convert. Click convert to mesh and I hit tab we have these terrible in gons so what I'm gonna do is remesh it which is I do have a specific tutorial on remeshing stuff you just gotta go and go to the remesh modifier and I'm gonna give it a, strength, a octree depth of five and apply it so now we have this guy I hit rx90 just to flip him up and then go back to the cloth settings and do the same thing that we we just did here cloth go down pressure custom three nine and three so let's go back here, we lost him, and press play. And there we go, we have a ballooning A, and then I'm gonna go ahead, add in a subsurf, and then do it again, balloon him, and now we have a nice ballooned A. I'll go ahead and add a matte cap to show you guys what like a metallic A would look like. So that's how easy it is. I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty of cloth. I would recommend just looking up cloth simulations in Blender if you wanna get the exact type of look you're going for. Uh, but this is how you do it. Blender 2.82 has a really cool blowing up balloon type of situation and it's really exciting. Thanks for watching.